my name is Renee and this is my cash tipping journey. If you're new here, thank you so much for taking your chance and clicking on my video. I hope you decide to like, subscribe and stick around for a while. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your ongoing support. So today is going to be the final Budget 101 budget overhaul video and basically it's going to be a tour of my new budgeting system so what we did is we did a budget binder audit so we went through every single envelope wrote it down and evaluated if we're keeping it or it's going once we had that list we then did focus on our financial goals and our priorities so we used all of this all of this information from our budget binder audit and put it into order so for example for me it's uh, my kids my home deposit my emergency fund my Christmas car registration um, birthdays they're kind of all my high priority things and then low priority things are like lawn maintenance subscription stockpile things that if for example a pay is short I can cut them out and it's not gonna it's not gonna worry me now originally I was going to have a high priority binder and a low priority binder and then I was going to divide that in between savings goals and annual expenses. That system it's not going to work for me anymore and because I was doing all of this I realized that um, that putting that into practice during cash stuffings would just be too hard for me, me to keep track of. So what I've done is I have kept my savings goals binder and my annual expenses binder and I've just divided them so because I had so many savings goals I now have a high priority and a low priority savings goals binder and I also have a annual expenses binder that's split in half and I've got high priority and low priority within the one binder I have also got my just roll it in glitter binder my savings challenge binder and then my surprise monthly binder so I'm gonna go through those step by step if you are just starting out this whole process can be extremely overwhelming and it's very easy to get lost in multiple binders and multiple envelopes and categories and sinking funds and um, high priority low priority it is very very easy to get lost in the noise now if you are just starting out um, I have one on my Etsy store. Um, there are so many options on Etsy or Amazon. Get yourself a cash stuffing starter kit. So for example, I have two different ones. I have a budget starter, budget binder starting kit and a cash stuffing starter kit. Now, if you want to save money, I would recommend Amazon. Um, you can get very plain, very simple um, budget binders and it, they generally come with like uh, generic labels they come with trackers um, they generally come with like labels and sticky tabs um, and that is a very 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 good way to start it's how I started it's how most of us start I think um, Etsy can be a bit more more expensive but often it's more personalized so for example in my own store I offer customization so you can put a label on the binder you can choose what labels font and color you want your labels to be in your on your envelopes um, so it just depends on what what your budget is what your system is and what's going to work for you but one thing I want to make very clear is you do not need all of the fancy things to start this journey if you are waiting until you're in that position you may never get there you may because doing cash stuffing accessories so things like the budget binders and everything it can be expensive it can be um, and it was when I started I, I blew a fortune on it and then the system didn't even work for me in that in that format and it wasn't until I started making my own that I really struggled to try and make it affordable and still cover the costs so you don't need all of the fancy things you can get a um, $12 binder well it's $12 in the US I know they're cheaper there but in Australia you, on Amazon you're generally looking at about $25 to $30 um, but you don't need all the fancy things you can literally start with a pack of plain white envelopes that you can get from the reject shop for $2 um, you can have an envelope for 
a budget binder and you just start stuffing that and then when you get there then you can buy one that could be your first goal but you don't need all of the fancy things you don't need all the binders you don't need all of it but if you are deciding to do a binder I recommend one that comes with envelopes they generally come with about six focus on those six don't you don't need multiple binders when you're just starting out start off with the six really hone in on what your priorities are and then build from there that's how a lot of us started um, I originally started with the white envelopes then I bought myself a binder from Amazon with um, it came with like six envelopes in it and generic labels and I just picked the most relevant for me at that time if it didn't work I shoved a piece of paper in it with a label on it um, it's only now that I'm more uh, that I'm more experienced and I know my budget well and I know my bind as well that I can have I've currently got two four I've got six now <laughs> I wanted to avoid that but it's it's kind of like an entrance to to all of that stuff so but if you are just starting out I would highly recommend just having one binder with six envelopes and really hone in on your priorities once you're feeling more confident and experienced in your budget and you understand what works for you and what doesn't then you can start buying multiples and separating savings challenges and and high priority low priority you can do all of that so I don't, if you're if this is one of the first videos you're watching of me I do not want you to think that to do this system you need to have six binders and it laid out like me because I fell into that trap when I started I was I wanted to follow Pink X budgets and her amazing system it didn't work for me I failed at it completely and I nearly gave up it wasn't until I realized that I need this system to work for me not me work for this system so please when you are when I'm going through these binders I don't want you to think that you need all of this to start this journey or to succeed at this journey so please I'm I want it really really clear focus on kind of the steps I'm taking to get to the binders rather than what I have so for example your budget binder audit you may not have a budget binder what you can do is write down all of the categories you want. When you think about your cash stuffing journey, what do you want to save for? What do you want to be prepared for? You don't, just because it says budget binder on, it doesn't mean you have to have one. You can just list down what you want. Then, say for example, you're like, okay, I've got all the things I want to save for. I'm going to buy myself a binder with six envelopes. Out of these categories that you've written down, what are your six priorities? and that's where you start so these can be these worksheets can be adapted to multiple different systems and no matter what your system is it can be adapted and if you are really struggling if you're really 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 having trouble please reach out to me via email I am happy to sit down with you we whether we do it through through a, a chat um, through Facebook or Instagram I am happy to sit down and go through these worksheets with you and go through the processes with you because I remember that feeling of being so overwhelmed but so desperate. If I can stop someone from feeling that way, I will do it in a heartbeat. So if you have these and you're really, really, really struggling, please reach out to me. Reach out to any of the YouTubers that do cash stuffing. This is an amazing community. It is very supportive. It is very educational and you will always have friends. Even if you even if you're literally alone, you have friends in us. So reach out to me or anyone else or if I can't if my budgeting system isn't suited to what you tell me, I will help you find someone who can. Okay? So if you're really struggling, please reach out. Now, so now that I've gone on that little long spiel, it's like, oh God, have we already been talking for 10 minutes? Okay, so we've done our budget binder audit. So we went through all of my old system and wrote down everything. When we did our, pro when we got all of our priorities, that let me know what I wanted to be high priority, what I wanted to be low priority and what I could get rid of. To be honest, I, I ended up adding more than I got rid of, but that's, it's just me. Okay, next. Now, I, as I mentioned, I was going to do a high priority and a low priority binder. When I was sitting down and trying to crunch 
my system, it wasn't going to work. Um, when I originally started my savings goals and my annual expenses, that's what worked for me. It's how my bank accounts are set up. It's just, it works. So I'm like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I now have um, a savings goals split into high and low priority and an annual expenses split, split into high and low priority. And then my Just Roll It and Glitter is high and low priority. Now, I haven't set up my Just Roll It and Glitter one yet. Uh, I am still working on that. It's going to take me a little bit of time, I think, um, pro like set it up properly. But I'll still run through what, what I've got so far. So, for example, savings goals. I had to divide these into two binders because there was just too much. So, keep that in mind. Now, for my highest priorities, I've got my two kids. My emergency fund, my home deposit, Les, me, Les is my husband, um, me, health and specialist, car maintenance, and William Bowling. Now, William's Bowling, I have changed that to kind of suit our family a bit better. So there, so that means that if my if my pay gets flipped on its head and it's bare minimum, that is what I will focus on. So even if they're the only things I can stuff, that's what I will focus on. And that's it so and then it kind of runs down of importance based on that or for example it might be the high priority in the savings goals and high priority in my annual expenses that's all I might stuff that week so having doing this stuff allowed me to really focus on what I'm focusing on this year and this year I'm really focusing on my emergency fund the savings for my kids and my home deposit which are my very first three goals when I very first started and I kind of got lost in all of this but yeah so they're my three main goals my fourth goal is to be debt free in 2023 I want to get rid of my debts now I am very lucky in that I don't have too many um, I calculate, I'd have done a debt confession video and it would have come up before this one. Um, I have about, I think it was around $8,000 in debt. Um, oh, sorry. This is my other cat. So you've seen, you've seen the diva cat. This is my husband's cat. This is Lily. She's also a calico and she's also a rescue. I don't know if you can hear her purring. Come on. She's a big cat. She's a big kitty. Sorry, I've got to fix the lighting because, of course, she jacked it all up with her heft. Okay, um, where was I? I don't even remember where I was. Oh, my debt confession. Yeah, I have about, I think it's about $8,800 $8, in debt. Um, that includes a car loan, a credit card, two buy now, pay later services, and my electric bill. So um, I'm really going to focus on those because we do want to buy our, our own home, and all of those things are a negative when you go to when you approach someone about getting money for a home loan. So um, yeah, so let's just get right into it. Now, I'm going to start with, when I do my cash stuffing, I generally start with my savings goals. So, I thought I would do the same thing. So, let's go into my high priority. Okay, so a lot of these binders, like a lot of these envelopes, you will know. You've, pro you've seen them multiple times by now. But, yep, so this is my high priority one. So, if this is the only one I can stuff, these are the ones I'll be focusing on. So I've actually got little dashboards in them now because I did intend to split the binder, um, but it was just, there was just too many. So high priority. So we've got home, and I've put these in order of importance. So say for example, if my pay is really, really bad, um, I could say cash stuff the first four, first four envelopes, which is home deposit emergency Evelyn and William and they're my priorities then as it gets further through the binder it becomes even though it's considered a high priority it's becoming less and less important as it gets further to the back so then we've got Les and myself now Williams bowling transitioned to kids fun um, because I thought we all use the money like when we go bowling we all use it um, 
if I want to take Evelyn to like a show because they do do a lot of shows for like toddlers and stuff if I wanted to buy tickets to take her I would this is where I would pull it from so yeah kids fun car maintenance uh, specialist and health so that's my high priority binder that's it um, then the next one is my savings goals low priority so these are the kind of things where like yeah I need to save for them they're not a priority but I still want to save for them and be prepared um, but if I end up not having to stuff anything it's not it's not too bad like it's not really a big thing so a medication uh, school expenses uh, the uh, concert envelope transitioned to entertainment and that's going to be things like um, shows movies um, t like tickets to a concert um, any anything like that um, household lawn maintenance um, tech I've introduced tech and the money that was in my Samsung savings challenge has transitioned into here that's because we do go through a lot of technology so things like phones computer parts um, um, ex like ex computer accessories and we are a very tech heavy company um, I work from home remotely um, my husband has his own IT business um, I do YouTube my son does YouTube um, it's very we're very tech heavy and we have like our own media system like it's just it's a lot we've got our own networks and firewalls and all that kind of stuff so we go through a lot of technology so I thought I would transition it to that and that will be probably heavily funded by savings challenges I think um, then ahead you already know uh, stockpile now I am getting a package vehicle which if you don't know what that is basically my my employer gets a brand new car of my choice we're given a list of like 30 options um, I can pick the color and all that kind of stuff um, my employer puts through an order for a brand new vehicle through their fleet management um, I get the car and every every fortnight they take a specific amount so I don't know how they calculate it but they take out a specific amount of money and in return they pay my registration my insurance my roadside assistance my fuel um, any kind of maintenance um, so servicing they cover all of that at the end of three years I can either trade that car in and get a new one or I can purchase that vehicle at a discounted rate I'm not sure which option I'm gonna I'm gonna do it's three years away from now our circumstances might change who knows but if I do want to purchase said car I want to be prepared and I don't want to have to get a massive loan so I thought I'm going to start saving now I'm going to start saving money now it may not be much for the first two years it might be five dollars a week and then in that final year it might be a hundred dollars I don't I don't know I'm just gonna see I might have the car for two and a half years and go no this isn't for me I'm gonna get a different car I don't know but I thought I'd rather be prepared my parents my parents are getting they're getting older now um, their health is deteriorating and they are currently on pensions but they do have quite heavy financial burdens um, so I want to be in a position where if I know they're struggling I can send them 50 bucks for groceries or I can send them money for fuel or I can just deposit a hundred dollars into their account um, it's not a priority um, but I do want to have that money I want to start having that money there so that if they do ring me up and something's happened I don't have to dip into our home deposit or our um, car registration money which is what I had to do previously to get them out of trouble um, and just a general savings um, this is going to be very slow I don't have a goal in mind it's not very important because I do have a lot of other savings but um, it's something I wanted to introduce man don't do that don't snot the camera please look at this big round belly you're so hefty 
Yep, okay, yep. There we go. Are you showing the people your little toe beans? Hmm? You're so hefty. She's such a big cat. She's like sprawled over half of my desk. Hmm? You're so hefty. Yeah, you hefty. You hefty. Yeah. You're a big kitty. He's a big kitty. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> um, and rollover is just going to be any rollover from my wallet. I'll probably empty this out every month and it'll go into my mystery challenge. Um, and this is Les's game. We actually fully funded this in the savings challenges. So that's just going to sit there in the back. Now, when I fully fund these, I am not sure if I'll move them to the back or what, but... When I fully fund anything in my high priority binder, I will move something from this area over because I'm implementing what I'm calling is the snowball savings method. It's basically the debt snowball method just in reverse with savings. So, for example, in this binder, there's uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, so I might say, for example, put $40 into medication and then $5 in every other envelope. When this is fully funded, I will roll this $40 into school expenses. When this is fully funded, I roll it over again. And I'm hoping that it will be a snowball and slowly start to roll over. So that's, that's the goal. I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll see. Okay, so now we've got uh, my annual expenses. Like I said, you've already seen most of these. Uh, birthdays, I did redo my, um, like my little slips in between. So I've redone them. I've put smaller labels on them. Um, Easter, car registration and insurance. And I did actually put slips in here so I've got one for registration and one for insurance I'm gonna focus on the registration first once that's fully funded I will move the whole thing so the tracker um, and the divider into the back and then I'll focus on insurance um, Christmas I've actually divided into gifts food and decor um, gifts will get the bulk of that money um, it always will but food I would probably like a few hundred dollars and then decor the same um, but majority of the money will be going through um, gifts but Christmas is going to be fully funded with savings challenges so I'm probably not gonna or I might stuff five dollars every two weeks um, so five dollars a pay cycle um, I'm not really focusing on this because it is going to be um, it is going to be fully funded by savings challenges, which is why it's also in a high priority. Because I have calculated that I need to put about $90 a fortnight um, to Christmas to get where I need it to be. And then I've got a low priority. So we've got family fun. So this used to be the family vacation envelope that used to sit at the front. Um, this is just for any experiences we want throughout the year. Um, Mother's and Father's Day back to school now vacation and travel I would love to take my family on a cruise it's a dream of mine so I'm gonna start I don't know when it's gonna happen it could be years from now but we'll give it a go and we'll see what happens and then subscriptions so that's that one um, what else is there I've even like moved everything around on my desk so it's a bit more, not as chaotic I'm hoping. Okay, so this is my Just Roll It In Glitter Binder. So this is my savings envelope. Um, expenses, stationery and packaging is a new one because I am spending so much money on that stuff. Um, Etsy is for my secret item that I'm hoping to release soon. Uh, postage, PO Box, we are already paid up um, for 2023. We are now saving for 2024, uh, taxes, and because of the change in my system, and because I struggle so much when there is money in the bank, I need to have the money at home because I won't spend it. 
to do that I need to be able to keep it safe so I am saving for a safe <laughs> um, I'm not sure how long it's going to be I do have to do some research to find out what the best one is if you have a safe at home if you cashed off and you have a safe at home and you really like it um, please let me know because I really I don't really know anything about them so if anyone's got any like personal experiences I would be really really appreciative um, if I could get some information on that and finally the biggest probably change of all is my savings challenge binder now I took some inspiration from um, black and blue from Erica and I got me a big one look how pretty she is now I'm trying to decide should I call it big Bessie or big Bertha what do you think let me know have a vote down below so this is a because my small binder it was just overwhelmed with the same challenges because I save best with savings challenges so I want to focus a lot of that on a lot of my attention and energy and money on savings challenges this year because I'm going to use this to fund my other folders um, so she a big one okay so what I've done is because I only have very limited envelopes what I've created is I've just created these clear like clear envelopes so what I've done is for example this is all of my monthly savings challenges and that's going to go in every month I'm going to empty them and put in them in my mystery mystery savings challenge my annual one and then at the end of the year we'll calculate it um, so I've got January I'm doing a seasonal savings challenge and then I'm doing the 100 monthly challenge so to stop it from marring the envelope because I've only got a limited number of them um, I've just created these clear like clear ones the tracker and money is going to slip into that so that if it gets all marked up it's going to be this clear plastic sleeve um, and not the envelope and then I can keep multiple savings challenges in one envelope um, without it, all the money getting confused and um, all that jazz so they're my monthly ones then I'm going to do a build a buffer cash stuffing buffer um, because I do I did spend my buffer on um, <coughs> we have a house inspection so me and my husband ordered a big skip bin to do a massive clean out um, so I that's what I use that for so build a buffer okay then there is roll the dice um, celebrations which is going to be aimed at like birthdays and anniversaries and um, things like that then I've got my now what I have done which I haven't finished I created the, you know in my other binders how I created the dashboards? Well, I've done them for these as well, but I haven't cut them out yet or cut them to size or hole punch them. So I'm going to have a savings challenge and then I'm going to have a budget besties, which is all of these ones. So all of the, all of the savings challenges I buy on Etsy, um, I'm going to, it's going to have its own section so that I know that when I finish one, I can put another one in there. Um, so that's what this is going to be about so these ones will probably stay there throughout the year they might change depending on what my goals are at the time um, but these ones will be all from the Etsy's Etsy stores and that that I buy so these are going to be my budget besties so we've got what's on the shelf it's like a um, it's a book one I can't remember who it is I'll have to give you the name when I start them because it's written on there um, I can't remember this one I'm sorry um, this one is from Amanda. She sent them to me. She created these herself. Um, they are amazing. So each letter will be $5. Um, pretty in polish. Um, this is going to be like a self-care type one. I'm really determined to have, do at least one self-care going at a time. So I can really focus on it. Because it will make me focus on it. Um, so I do the dip powder on my nails. So I'm thinking... I bought like a really cheap set on Amazon. Um, but I think I really do love it so much and it works really well, but I think I want to transition to, um, sorry, the cat just jumped off the table, um, a higher quality one. So I might use this to fund some of that. Um, 
kitty pile up. Okay, so yeah, the cat pile up that's going to be like two dollars each. Um, the eighty-five dollar coin challenge. This is from um, the Art of Budgeting, and this is a new channel that I discovered in my shout out Sundays. Um, and I'm just going to do this with the silver I get from my little coin purse. Um, Renee's Etsy idea. Amanda made this one specifically for my customized item. Um, and then I'm going to do a whole, this one's going to be my mini challenges. And I'm going to use it to fund a weekend away, which is from, this one's from Caro Cash. So I've got a savings challenge of $100. This is budget with cat. Um, then I've got another $100 one, and this is from, I think this is from the Happy Mailbox Co. It's one of their mini challenges. And then this is from D's Digital World, um, and this is going to be $120. So once I finish, as I finish these, they will roll over into this one, and this is what I'm going to use to pay for our weekend away for my husband's birthday present. So that's another example of that rollover savings um, thing that I'm going to try and see if it works. Okay, as I said, Christmas is going to be funded by savings challenges. So this will be the first one, so it's a $250 savings challenge. I did finish a $240 one already, and I divided that in between gifts, um, food, and decor. So gifts got $200, um, food got $20, and decor got $20. And these are all my digital ones. So whenever I use prop money, um, they will go in these ones. So we've got the zero out challenge, return and earn, 100 envelope, the black and blue one, which goes going towards our house, $1 and $2 savings challenges. Um, I do have to clean all of these off, but um, you get the gist of it. This will all be cleaned by the time I do my first stuffing. Um, this one is my YouTube one. So, for example, we've got the shout out Sunday, the YouTube, and the giveaway. So, these ones will be this one will be stuffed randomly, this one will be once a week, and this one will be once a week. And then your life. This is whenever I have spare money left over. Um, I always do the Your Life one. I'm going to continue to do that. I really, really enjoy it. And when I finish each month at the end of the month, I'm going to transition that to another bite. Yeah. So that will be transitioned into my mystery challenge. Now, um, my we recently just emptied my mystery challenge. Sorry, I'm getting the snaps of getting it. Why won't that close? Okay. So this is going to be the mystery challenge. Now I only did three months of it this year, this year, and it's going to be twelve months later. So what it is is each month has an envelope. When I have finished my monthly challenges, if I have any rollover, um, if I sell anything on Facebook. Um, it will all go into whatever month it's in. I'm not going to count it. I'm not going to touch it. At the end of the year, I will count it all. Um, and if it's anything like this year, I will have a giveaway. Whoever gets the closest will get a voucher to my store. And it's just going to be a fun way. Now, I only did um, October, November, December of 2022. And I raised... Uh, six hundred and twenty dollars which is beyond amazing beyond amazing so I'm hoping that I could have over a thousand dollars which would be beyond amazing so that is my new budgeting system um, you will see my new budget with me's when for my next paycheck um, I am pre-filming everything now so that I can actually have some time off with my family while I'm on leave. So I will see you when I see you. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate every single one of you. Remember to live, laugh, love, and when life gets hard, just roll it in glitter. Bye, guys.